Okay, so I just want to define constant of variation for you. It's a lot of words for um, this letter right here. Uh, let's just go in order here. Um, the relationship between two variables, you know, x and y, for example, is called a direct variation if one of the variables is a constant multiple of the other. So if, if y is always um, 3 times whatever x is, then we would say that's a direct variation because y is a constant multiple of x. And we can, we can write it in this, in this format here, y equals kx, where k just stands for whatever this constant is. Maybe it's y equals 3x, maybe it's y equals um, 10 billion x. What was that? Is that million, uh, billion x? You know, it's, it's a, whatever this constant is, um, we'll define the relationship between y and x. So the constant of variation is just this, is this. So let's so let's find the constant of variation, the uh, c of v, as I just now decided to call it, um, uh, for this function here, this linear function. So um, let's find out what we have to multiply s by to get i. And to do that, we can just um, divide the i's by the s's. So uh, for here, we've got 2 divided by 1. Um, and it, you know, if, if this were x and y, just divide the y's by the x's, and I'll show you why. Okay, so 6 divided by 3 would reduce to, um, you could divide both, both of those by 3, so 6 divided by 3 is 2, 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that would be 2 over 1, which is 2, um, 8 divided by 4 is also simplified to 2. So by looking at it this way, we know that um, to get i, we just multiply s by 2. So i equals 2 s. So the constant of variation would be um, 2 in this case. And, and more generally, if we have a direct variation where y is some const, um, constant multiple of x, the, the constant that determines that relationship would be called the constant of variation.